By now, you've probably heard a lot of the hype and buzz regarding the new technology, which is the metaverse. We've heard of Facebook rebranding to Meta because they fully believe in the metaverse. We've heard of Disney's virtual world simulator that will reproduce their theme parks like Disneyland in a 3D realm. Microsoft launched Mesh to provide a digital shared experience through mixed reality applications. Nike, Warner Brothers, Hyundai, Gucci, and even Coca-Cola have publicly made plays towards participating in this space that is the metaverse. All over the world, we're hearing global players make moves to get in on the action. However, there is a new player on the block. Africa has recently launched its own metaverse. Imagine a virtual world made to mimic the culturally rich continent of Africa, where African art and creativity are showcased by leveraging technology. A fully immersive world that creates a unique experience showcasing our culture and innovation with multiple opportunities for collaboration and engagement. And no, it's not Wakanda, it's Ubuntu land. So in this video, I'm going to share with you everything you need to know about Africa's first metaverse. If you're keen, let's chat about it. Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeremy and if you're new here and haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so because on this channel, I speak about fintech, digital transformation and career development. The metaverse is intended to be a 3D virtual reality world that is the next phase of the internet where we can live, work, travel, play, and socialize with others. Even though we're still very much in the infancy of this new technology, many world-class institutions have already developed versions of the metaverse to give us a taste of what is possible. Mark Zuckerberg rebranding Facebook to Meta was one of the major moves that spiked global interest in the metaverse. Since then, lots of players worldwide have joined in and committed significant investments into metaverse technology across the USA, Asia, Europe. However, when it comes to emerging technology, Africa is usually not part of the early adopters. Given all the economic challenges that exist, it's understandable that we usually catch up later. However, this time Africa has made a move to ensure we stay ahead of the curve or at least in line with it. In October 2021, it was announced publicly that Africa Rare had created and launched Africa's first metaverse that is set to unlock African creativity and connect the continent to the global digital economy. The Africa Rare metaverse experience will reside in Ubuntu land in virtual Africa. As with other metaverses, it's accessible using a virtual reality headset, your computer, or even your phone. Now the word Ubuntu is a South African Zulu word that translates into humanity. It also has the additional translation, I am what I am because we all are, and it espouses the values of compassion, togetherness, and humanity towards others. There is a deep backstory if you want to take the time to read Africa Rare's white paper that traces its origins back to the genesis of African civilization, when Africa was leading in development, education, skills, and where communities of experts were responsible for teaching others and sharing knowledge. The philosophy of Ubuntu became widespread and they named their expanding home Ubuntu Land, and that became the foundation on which Africa Rare have built the metaverse version of Ubuntu Land. Now, Ubuntu Land is simply a metaverse for African creativity. It's a 3D virtual reality experience powered by the Ethereum blockchain to marry creativity, cryptocurrency, and commerce. Africa Rare is created by McMahon, who is the CEO and co-founder, as well as Shane Mann, who is his co-founder. They also partnered with renowned South African artist Norman Catherine, who has developed a unique collection of avatars for Ubuntu Land. Now, the whole concept of Ubuntu and leveraging blockchain is about sharing and decentralization. Therefore, it's possible for you to partake in staking your claim in the Africa Rare metaverse. There are over 200,000 plots of land available in Ubuntu Land. The land is owned by the community, so you have full control over what is done on the virtual land you acquire, as well as the content that is published on your land. You can customize your land however you want. You can buy to rent out, host shops, produce resources, or develop games and any other applications. Thanks to the technology, which is the blockchain and NFTs, a digital ownership is possible. So when you purchase land or any digital assets in Ubuntu land, you get the title deeds and certification of ownership 
in addition to a blockchain confirmation to assure you of its legitimacy. Land in the Africa Realm Metaverse is a non-fungible yet transferable digital asset stored as a smart contract in the Ethereum blockchain. In fact, Africa's biggest telco giant, MTN, recently became the first company on the continent to enter the metaverse by purchasing 144 plots of Ubuntu land back in February this year. This is a bold move from the telco giant that demonstrates their confidence in the technology and their willingness to support African innovation right from its infancy. Now the natural question that follows after you speak about purchasing digital land in the metaverse would be how do you transact? The currency in Ubuntu land is the Ubuntu token, which is built on the Ethereum blockchain. Everything in the Africa Rare Metaverse can be bought, sold or traded using the Ubuntu token. It is a utility token used throughout the Africa Rare ecosystem that forms the basis of transactions and interactions. It can be used by the users, creators, developers, and publishers, allowing you to exchange assets and build a user-based platform of rewards. The founders have big plans for the Ubuntu token to reinforce its security and interoperability. Now, apart from giving you access to the Africa Rare platform, in future, the Ubuntu tokens may also allow the holders to participate in governance decisions of the platform using a DAO structure. So Ubuntu tokens grab the holders' voting rights in key world decisions by voting themselves or delegating voting rights to other players or users of their choice. Also, in future, the Ubuntu tokens will support staking, which is simply the term in the crypto world for putting your tokens or digital assets to work to allow you to earn some passive income without having to sell them. So you can think of staking as the crypto equivalent of putting your money in a high yield savings account. Now, Ubuntu land is built on the Ethereum blockchain because it offers a lot of benefits such as ease of use because Ethereum currently has the largest number of developers and was built with flexibility in mind. It's one of the most robust blockchain protocols which has wide network adoption and, in effect, validation. Lastly, Ethereum was selected for its interoperability as a base layer on top of which applications can be built to interact with each other. All this goes to ensure that transacting in Ubuntu land is seamless and secure and offers users a great virtual experience. Now let's get into some of the things you can do in Ubuntu land. There is a marketplace. Now this is where users can trade Ubuntu land assets between themselves. This includes buying and selling virtual land as I've mentioned already, but also purchasing NFT avatars and avatar additions as well as other goods and services that will be available in Ubuntu land. You can also trade on a secondary open platform such as OpenSea and others, which means you will actually be able to derive real-world value from your Ubuntu land assets. To quote futurist Kwame, imagine being able to pay for your actual rent with money you earn from your virtual land in the metaverse also attracting rent. The world is really changing people. Another interesting aspect of the Africa Rem metaverse are the tribes. Now, there are many origin tribes that tie back into the Ubuntu land origin story. Now, these tribes are made up of 3D avatars that users can explore and inhabit to move around Africa Rare to socialize, create, work, earn, or trade. The earliest Ubuntu land settlers were artists. The origin tribes were original inhabitants and settler tribes formed as people who later joined the community. The tribes in Ubuntu land have been modeled based on this and Africa Rare started two origin tribes in the first quarter of this year. There is the Normunda tribe and the Boiti tribe and the plan is to launch three to four more tribes later on this year. The origin tribes have been categorized into different rarities. So you have the Africa Rare royal family with King Normunda, Queen Jantina and other creatively named royals based on Norman Catherine's signature lexicon. The ultra rare, rare, scarce and natural collections are all available as well. All very interesting and native avatars that you get the chance to explore. The founders even have a Mint My Avatar feature in the works that looks very promising and I'm sure it will unleash more creative control to the users and allow more interesting avatars and content within the space. Within Ubuntu land, there is a central hub land area that you can explore. This is reserved for Africa Rare custom-made experiences ranging from art to education and it also includes galleries, live performances, stand-up comedy and a whole lot of others. There will be video content channels, film festivals, festivals, safaris, and many more. There are two main art galleries which are the Mila Gallery, Mila being the Swahili word for tradition and also happens to be the name of the founders McMahon's daughter, and this gallery will host Africa's most famous artist. Then there is the Inuka Gallery, Inuka being the Swahili word for rise, which will host
most Africa's rising stars or up and coming artists. Both galleries will run exhibitions on an ongoing basis throughout the year. Africa Rare even announced a collaboration with the South African superstar Boiti, who revealed her first virtual reality music video and dressed in the same sun goddess outfit that her Queen Boiti avatar in Ubuntu Land was based on. The founders have shared that future artists will have the opportunity to buy or rent a portion of Ubuntu Land and put up art shops that they can use to sell their own NFT art. There will be additional hubs such as the Financial Hub, Entertainment Hub, Crypto Hub, Sports, Gaming, Education, Fashion and Design Hubs all available to create a wholesome experience. We are still very early in exploring the full offering of the metaverse, but Africa Rare is getting on board early with the intention of showcasing African creativity to the global digital economy. Now, even though it's starting off primarily with digital art, there is no limit to what the potential opportunities Africa Rare can unlock for Africans as it relates to education, finance and more once development progresses. Let me know what your thoughts are on the first African metaverse. I hope you found this video valuable and if you did, remember to hit the like button and drop me a comment. As always, you can grab your African themed prints from Wegana at a discount with the link in the description. Have an amazing week and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers guys.